Hi everyone, you are watching IQ Enlightened. Today I am going to lecture about building self-confidence. The difference between self-confidence versus low self-confidence. Although many of the factors affecting self-confidence are beyond your control, there are a number of things you can purposely do to build self-confidence. Your level of self-confidence can show in many ways. Your behavior, your body language, how you speak, what you say, and so on. Look at the following comparisons of common confident behavior with behavior associated with low self-confidence. Which thoughts or actions do you recognize in yourself and people around you? Self-confidence Confident people follow their conviction, doing what they believe to be right, even if others mock or criticize them for it. They are always willing to take risks and work the extra mile to achieve outstanding results. They quickly and graciously admit their mistakes and learn from them. They wait for others to congratulate them on their accomplishments. They accept compliments graciously. Thanks, I really work hard on it. I am glad that you recognize my efforts. Now, low self-confidence. Behavior is highly influenced by what others think and feel about them, lack of conviction. They like to stay in their comfort zone, fearing failure and avoid taking risks. They work hard to cover up mistakes, hoping that they can fix the problem before anyone notice. They extol their own virtues as often as po possible to as many people as possible. They dismiss compliments disrespectfully. Oh, their particular accomplishments was nothing much. Anyone could have done it easily. As you can see from these examples, low self-confidence can be self-destructive and it often manifests itself in negativity. Self-confident people are generally more positive. They believe in themselves and their abilities and they also believe in the wonders of living life to the full. In most cases, the origin of inferiority complexes and lack of self-confidence can be traced back to their childhood and adolescence. Early failures and rejections leave an indelible impression on us. The, the key to effective living is coming to terms with our past. Confidence Building Techniques The first step involves getting yourself ready for your journey to self-confidence. You need to take stocks of where you are think about where you want to go get yourself in the right mindset for your journey and commit yourself to starting it and staying it with it the following techniques will help you to develop self-confidence one look at what you have already achieved think about your life so far and list 10 best things you have achieved in the past perhaps you came top in an examination play a key role in a tournament, produce some excellent track records and did something that made a key difference in someone else's life. Put this into records and look at them often and then spend a few minutes each week enjoying the success you have already had. 2. Talk to yourself from time to time. Talking to yourself is a good form of self-expression. Talking to oneself helps in solving little conflicts and things that trouble us. Besides talking to ourselves loud, we learn to speak better, to use our voice to good advantage. 3. Create your own happiness. Say to yourself, life is good and I choose happiness. You choose to be happy, perceive situations differently and you will be happy. Happiness, a positive outlook adds confidence. Thank you for watching this video.